here in this section we are having the paragraph type of questions so let's start the paragraph for the question number 17 and 18 in this paragraph in a Young's double slit experiment a parallel beam of light of wavelength 4000 angstrom is incident normally on slits separated by 0.4 mm a and b are two transparent film each of indexes 3 by 2 thickness of a is 20 micrometer light coming through a and b have intensities i and 4i respectively point o on the screen is symmetrically placed with respect to slit this is the point o now let's take the question number 17 here if intensity at o is 3i and central maxima is below o then let's first calculate that what is the condition so that there would be the intensity of 3i at point o let the phase difference being 5 so simply i would say resulting intensity that is 3i it must be i1 plus i2 4i plus 2 root i1 and root i2 it is coming out to be 4i cos 5 this is the phase difference phi here so it is coming out to be cos of phi is equal to minus of 1 by 2 or we may say phi to be equal to how much 2 pi by 3 got it 2 pi phase difference will correspond to the path difference of lambda so clearly i would say the path difference would be how much it is lambda by 3 that means the wave reaching at this point they will have the path difference of lambda by t and since it's been said that the central maxima is below o at this point central maxima actually force it simply means at this point the ray that is coming from b shall have a path lead got it so this one will have the path lead that means here uh, whatever be the condition here we need to find out what is the possible thickness of film b so now uh, let's take on the statement a and b fringe width of interference pattern on the screen is 1.5 mm and here in b fringe width of the interference pattern on the screen is 1 mm fringe width will definitely be lambda capital d by small d got it lambda was how much it was 4000 angstrom capital d being 1 and it is 0. 4 mm so on calculation we are getting this delta w of fringe width that is coming out to be 1 mm so option b is the correct answer now possible thickness of film b so that the above stated condition would happen now we have just mentioned that the ray coming from b shall have a lead and that lead would be how much it is lambda by 3 so just take let the possible thickness is t so the path difference from here to here it would be 3 by 2 into t this is the optical path up to this point fine i'm writing this term in micrometer okay it is in micrometer now up to this point the optical path difference for one will be how much it is one I would say it is 20 I'm writing down in terms of micrometer itself 20 into 3 by 2 up to this point then plus it is t minus 20 t minus 20 in micrometer so these two difference that means it is 3 by 2 t minus t plus 20 and here minus 30 it must come out to be lambda by 3 lambda was here it is 4000 angstrom that means it is 0.4 micrometer so i would say it is 4 divided by 30 on calculation we will be getting this answer t will almost be coming out to be 20.2666 or we may say it is 20.27 micrometer that's the answer here so option C is also the correct answer for question number 17. Now we shall proceed to the next question that is question number 18. Here in question number 18, if the intensity at O is 3i and central maxima is above O then. We have already calculated the phase difference at this point when the resulting intensity will be 3i that happened to be 2 pi by 3 and the corresponding path lead will be how much lambda by 3. Uh, the fringe width that came out to be 1 mm 
from the previous question itself. Now, since the shifting here is for the phase difference of 2 pi by 3, that means further shift of pi by 3 would actually give us the next minima. And further shift of pi by 3, it simply means the 1 sixth of the fringe width. That means 1 by 6th mm from this point O, we shall have the next nearest minima actually. This is the minimum value. So this distance was how much? This maxima is coming out to be 2 pi by 3. So along this direction, the phase difference will be how much? It is 4 pi by 3. Now, uh, the distance of the nearest maxima from O is, nearest maxima from O, this is the nearest maxima actually. So it is simply at the phase difference of how much? 2 pi by 3 or I would say it is one third of the fringe width. That means 1 by 3 mm from point O is the nearest maxima. So option D is the correct answer. So we are getting option A and option D as the correct answer for question number 18. Now we shall proceed to next paragraph that is for question number 19 and question number 20. Here in this paragraph, the basic principle of vernier calipers is to design two scales of slightly different scaling and by combining them, we can further reduce the least count of the system. There are two different ways of taking the reading while using the vernier calipers. Answer the following question based on the vernier scale reading. In question number 19 now, in figure below, 10 division of vernier scale matches with 9 division of main scale reading. Here clearly it is visible that in main scale the smallest unit is given in terms of mm and it has been said that uh, 10 division of vernier scale matches with 9 division of main scale. That means one unit of vernier scale should be 9 divided by 10 mm that means it is 0 0.9 mm. So the least count of the system I would say it is 1 mm minus 0 0.9 that is coming out to be 0 0.1 mm or I would say 0 0.01 in centimeter. That's the way the answer was given. So I would say option A is the correct answer. Now looking onto this reading, uh, here the main scale reading is 3.2, 3 3.2 in centimeter and the vernier scale matches with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 sixth reading on the main scale. So least count was how much? It was 0 0.01 centimeter. So I would say 3.2 plus 0 0.01 into 6 and we are getting this answer as 3.26 centimeter as the reading. So looking onto the option, option C is also the correct answer. So question number 19, we are getting option A and option C as the correct answer. Now we shall proceed to the next question that is question number 20. In question number 20, the 20 division of vernier scale matches with 21 division of main scale reading. Zero of the vernier scale lies between 3.30 cm and 3.40 cm. Fifth division of vernier scale coincide with the main scale division. Here we need to find out that which of the following options are correct. One particular thing that is clearly mentioned here that uh, the vernier scale lies between 3.30 and 3.40 it means the minimum division marking there in the main scale is 1 mm so i would say 1 mm is the one division in main scale is equal to 1 mm fine now 20 division of vernier scale matches with 21 division of main scale reading that means one division of vernier scale would now be equal to 21 divided by 20 mm and it is coming out to be 1.05 mm. So the least count of this vernier caliper it is now taken as 1.05 minus 1 that will be 0 0.05 mm or in centimeter it would be how much it would be 0 0.005 centimeter that is the least count of this vernier caliper so option a is the correct answer for the least count one more important thing here it is the division of vernier scale is actually greater than the main scale division so we shall be taking the regressive reading here so now the reading 
since it is in between 3.30 cm and 3.40 cm so our reading here is 3.40 minus least count being how much 0.005 cm and fifth division of vernier scale coincide with the main scale division so it must be 5 here so we are getting here 3.375 cm that's the reading for the given situation so option d is the correct answer so here we are getting option a and option d as the correct answer for question number 20 that's the end of this question paper hope you must have understood the solution and i wish you all the best for your further preparation thank you and goodbye